When we design web pages in Divi, this is the layout we normally get. You have a header, we also have a footer here on the bottom, and this is where we add our content. But these pages don't look very exciting because it's too plain. I'm gonna show you how to achieve this. Now here we have this top area here with our featured image, and we also have the page title over here, and then our content continues on on the bottom. We can customize this and have this image on pretty much any page we choose using Divi Theme Builder. This is what I'm gonna show you in this video, but before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you purchase Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Divi course called Divi Jumpstart Course. This is a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And also I have this specific header and footer template. It's only going for $7. The link to that is in the video description below. So let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. Let's call this page pizza. Click on use Divi Builder. And we are going to build this from scratch. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm just gonna put a bit of uh, text in here just to uh, show where our content is going to go. So let me add a uh, text module like that. And then I'm gonna save and exit the Visual Builder. So when we take a look at this page here, it's pretty boring. All it has is a header, footer, and a bit of text in here. It's time now to go in and create a template for the specific pages that we need on our website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a new tab because we need to reference this uh, back and forth so that we can see the changes that we're making. So I'm back here over here in my dashboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come all the way down here to Theme Builder. This is where we're going to create custom headers for our pages. So next I'm gonna come over here and click on New Template. Now for this template, I can specifically choose the pages that I want to target with my design. So at the moment, all my pages are going to be listed here. So I'm gonna choose pizza, okay? So that's gonna be the template I'm going to create. So I'm gonna say create template. Next, I am going to uh, write or click on these three little dots here and say disable global, okay? So now this is a normal header. Next, I'm gonna come over here now into this header and make all my changes. So this is going to be very exciting. So remember, we are working now on the header template. So the next thing we wanna do here is click on this plus button and we are going to add a full width header like that. Now in this full width header, we are going to uh, give this a title. So we're gonna come over here to post archive title. So this is going to show the title of this page. So we have this um, call here. We're gonna get rid of that because we don't need uh, the call to action. Now this text here, we don't need it, but if we need it, uh, we can just come over here and add a bit of a description to uh, this area here. But uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we just wanna leave it blank. So uh, let's go ahead and delete all this text here like that. So all we have is the header, I mean the page title. Next, we are now going to uh, hit save and we are going to go into the settings over here. So let's come all the way down here to background and we wanna delete this background because we don't really need uh, that background there. We want to add our own background. So I'm gonna click here on uh, this black one. So that's gonna be my background color. Next, I'm gonna come over here to background image and we are going to click on this little icon here and set our featured image. Now this is really, really powerful. You're going to notice in a moment how this powerful is going to be. All right, so now that I have I've added my featured image, I'm going to come all the way down here to my blend mode and click this and set it to multiply. Next, I'm gonna come back over here to my background color and I'm gonna add a bit of transparency so that I can see a little bit of uh, my image there in the background by adding transparency. All right, so now that I've added this bit of transparency, the next step now is to come over here and customize my, my font here. So I wanna change this to Poppins like that. I wanna make it all caps. I'm also going to make it bold and I'm gonna add some letter spacing. So let's add just a little bit. In fact, you know what, let's go with light. Okay, so let's add our letter spacing here like that. And then over here, let's start with uh, 3 EM. Yeah, I think that works. And we are going to come over here to layout. So we can decide to either center this or we can keep it like right there um, on the left. So I'm gonna see which one is better in a moment. 
The next step now is I need to add a bit of uh, spacing here. So I'm going to go to um, spacing and add some padding. So let's start with 5%. Okay, so I've added this to the bow to the top and the bottom. I'm just going to increase this to about 10% so that I, I can have an idea of what this is going to look like. All right, so now that I've done with that, I'm now going to save. And I can see here this is a bit too much. Now let's bring, it up, bring this down a little bit to about maybe 8 Okay, so we're going to go with 8%. So that's looking great. I'm going to save this. Close out of here. And then save changes. So this is the page that we started with. So now I'm going to refresh this. And you notice now that we have pizza here. And we also have our text here in this area. Pretty, pretty cool. But we have a challenge here. This background image is not showing, so I want to show you how to go in and add this. So what you want to do now is to go to Edit Page, and this now needs to be in our default editor here. So I'm going to come over here to Featured Image, Set Featured Image. So I'm going to choose now my image from my uh, media library. So I want to start, I'm going to go with this one here since this page is about pizza. I'm going to save that, hit Publish, and let's hit Update and view the page. Look at that. Now we have pizza here in the background. Now, isn't that really cool? So I can see now that this is not looking great because the image here is too dark. So we may want to go back in here and make some customizations. So for this image here, it's not really working well. So I'm going to go into my settings over here. And what I'm going to do next is to come all the way down here to my background. So for this, I'm going to delete this background, and then I'm going to add a gradient. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So I'm going to click here on uh, this color here, this blue, and uh, we are going to change this to black, like that. And then over here, I'm going to set this to transparent, because I think this, is, this works better for this design. Now for this, Let's add 90 degrees. All right, so now you can see it's coming from left to right, which is exactly what we want because we want some of the pizza here to show. All right, so that's looking great. All I have to do now is to place gradient above image, like that, hit save. We're also going to save this page. Now let's see what happens when I refresh the page. And there we go. So it's slightly dark over here to the left so that we can see our text, but over here we can see the full image there in the background. And when we scroll, look at that. That works really cool. And by the way, I have this header and footer template. It's, on go it's only going for $7. The link to that is in the video description below. Go ahead and check it out. So there we go. This is our header and footer. Very, very easy to install. And um, I'll also add a link to the video showing you how to install it. All right, so this is how you add uh, pages and pretty much you can go to the about page, do a similar thing and so on. So it is very, very easy to go in and customize your pages with a header, which is dynamic. And this enables you to build amazing web pages using Divi Theme Builder. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.